Looking in on the Owatonna High School softball season and the start of practice for them with Coach Brian Pilcher. And, uh, Brian, uh, what's happening so far for the softball team? Well, we uh, we kind of got off to a, a slow start there um, as far as uh, the weather here. We just kind of put a damper on us this week, uh, cost us a night of practice. But we've, been, uh, we've had some quality time in the gym so far, um, really focusing on hitting, and offense this year. I mean, of course, defense, we always concentrate on that, but really emphasizing on scoring runs and manufacturing runs this year. So we've had some very good workouts. And you've had a little bit of outdoor time too, right? Yeah, we we actually just had uh, the day, let's see, it would have been Tuesday, okay. or, or it might have been Tuesday or Wednesday, we were outside mm-hmm. right before the snowstorm hit. And um, that was nice for the girls to get out. We could play with the real balls, play catch, do some throwing drills, um, got some flies in, and got to hit those balls outside. Um, you know, it's kind of a disadvantage sometimes when you're in the gym using the, the softies, but we have to respect the facility, so we go by the rules. Yeah. Um, with the idea of uh, focusing a bit on offense, what are, you, what are you hoping to see from the team, or what kind of potential do you uh, see for getting the offense rolling? Well, we've got a lot of uh, returning varsity players. We've got 10 returning. They've got a lot of experience. Um, we've got uh, four. We've got a total of 14 girls on the roster for the varsity to start the season off. Uh, that doesn't mean we might add some more as we go here. But, uh, um, you know, with those 10 returning players, they've seen a lot of play time. Um, we've got uh, sophomore Riley she returning um, in the center field spot that she – I believe she hit for almost 500 last year or high 400s and Mm -hmm. um, had very good production from her. And just the whole lineup, uh, with just the experience they've had, is going to be a plus for us. Did you graduate many off last spring's team? Uh, We graduated two um, off of last year. Um, Those two didn't see a whole lot of playing time. Uh, They were role players. Uh, They understood their roles on the team and – so with that said, uh, you know, we've got a lot of returning players that, with a lot of experience, so that's going to be a big plus for us. What about the pitching? What kind of uh, rotation or, or who's going to handle most of that part of the job? Well, we got two that they're returning from last year, too. Tiana Blasi, um, as a sophomore, um, um, had a lot of uh, innings thrown last year. And she, in the offseason, has uh, had a different pitching instructor and um has moved forward with a different windup and, and showing great progress there. Uh, Lexi Summers, another sophomore, uh, gave us a lot of good innings last year and won a, won a few big games for us. And so we're really excited about that. And, uh, and the whole program below uh, in the JV and C squad, we've got some upcoming pitchers, so we're really excited about that. Hmm. Um, as far as uh, seniors, is this group of seniors a big group? Yeah, we have, uh, we have uh, three returning from last year. I was on the team, and we added one more, Keanu Butler, which is a total of four seniors this year. Um, a lot of experience there. And Kayla Johnson, Nellie Wanyas, and Kirsten Pumper. Mm-hmm. Um, all starters from last year. Saw a lot of innings. So that's a big plus for that leadership there. What about the first part of the schedule? When do you hope to open the season? Well, we were supposed to open at Farmington on the 8th mm-hmm. of April. Um that's going to be a big game. And of course, they were a state qualifier last year, and uh, what a way to start the season off with a bang huh, with the state qualifier. So, so we're really looking forward to the whole season. It's uh, we looking at the schedule. I think we got like six home games and nine away. Um, it's a little bit more not in that favorable for us this year, but uh, we're on the road to Winona and mm-hmm. Red Wing, which is a couple big trips. But uh, we're looking forward to the challenge and the like I said, the girls are seasoned, and so we're ready for it. Is there any big nine uh, clear cut favorite in the conference? Well, I, you know, truthfully, I don't think so. Um, I've got to look in the West a little bit and see what okay. they've got coming back. It's, you know, of course, the two main KO teams are always going to be there uh, fighting for the top of the big nine. And um, Mayo's going to have some good turning prospects. And actually, we're known as an upcoming team program. Mm-hmm. I'm the coach over there. And, but we really figure our, our goals or expectations are to figure to finish high in the Big Nine, and um, I, I think that's realistic. Well, Brian, good luck uh, getting some outdoor time in, and in, in in order to get ready for that opener, which hopefully will be on April eighth at Farmington. Good luck to you and the girls. 
Okay, well, thanks a lot, Roy. All right, Brian Pilcher, softball coach for the Huskies on KRFO and the Coaches Show.